Hi, Kelly here from Carcraft Auto Tech, and today in this video, I'm going to help you identify if you have warped brake rotors, what that means, and what we can do about it. Let's get started. All right, so here we are on a road test. Nice, beautiful, rainy day today. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get the brakes up to temperature a little bit. Uh, you know, just do a few normal brake applications. You know, drive it around for a little while just to get the brakes up to temperature. Sometimes the the rotors won't feel warped when they are cool, so. What we're going to want to do, like I say, get them up to temperature and then we'll go ahead and we'll get it up to speed and we'll just do a few brake applications. Alright, so here we go. So I got stuck at the red light there. So let's go ahead and we'll get the vehicle up to speed. For me, I'm going to do about, you know, right around 80 kilometers. So right around 50 miles an hour or so. And then what I'm going to be looking for here is we're going to be looking for that shaking in the steering wheel. So we're going to go ahead, we'll get up to speed here and I'm going to go ahead and brake it. And there you go, you can see my wheel wobbling. Uh, that's basically that's what exactly what it is we're looking for. I'll go ahead and do that one more time here We just want to get a quick second one other thing that you can do to add is you can find yourself a nice uh, You know gradual downhill or even a steep hill that will definitely uh, Get the brakes up a temperature and show the the warp as well Go one more time. We're just gonna go ahead and just go down the hill here a little bit Now the one thing you're not gonna see which I can definitely feel is the also the pulsation in my brake pedal uh, you would definitely feel that as well, but unfortunately I can't show that very well on the camera So let's go ahead here. Let's just do this one more time and let's go ahead and here look at the steering wheel as I'm applying the brakes So now that we have a pretty good understanding of what the symptoms are like inside the vehicle Let's have a quick look at this animated cutout here. So on the left we have a good uh, true running rotor on the right there uh, shows one with some run out or some warp essentially and also right after this it's going to show one with uh, parallelism uh, basically high and low spots in the rotor uh, sometimes when the brakes get hot it will transfer some of the pad material onto the rotor and it builds up and then it gets a high and low spots uh, third here we have a scored brake rotor basically meaning that we have now gone to zero percent brakes and the metal backing plate is now scored uh, or you know grinding into the rotor uh, in which case it would need to be replaced so once we've had a look at the vehicle and made a decision on which way we're going to do the repair we have two options so here we have uh, you know a brand new set of brakes so we have rotors pads uh, you know everything clean service and replace ready to go new uh, obviously that's uh, the one option or we have uh, the other option here um, of machining the brake rotor as long as it's within uh, thickness specification so uh, we can put it onto the brake lathe uh, and uh, cut that rotor basically smooth uh, true and um, free of any uh, vibration so uh, that is also another option there so uh, basically that brings us to the end so uh, you know I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hopefully you uh, learned something today about uh, brake rotors and uh, your brake system there and what the warping might mean so uh, thanks again